All right, y'all, this is how you change a thermostat on an 86 Evinrude 150 XP. This is a thermostat cover housing. And of course, there's one here on this side, and then there's one on this side, too. Come over here and take the four bolts out. Take the four bolts out. And I already did this for the sake of simplicity, but here's a thermostat, and here's a bypass valve. This is going to have a spring on it that's keeping pressure against it and the plate, like that. You take this out, get the old thermostat out, and if you look down in here, I don't know how well, well you can see. There's a rubber bushing right there. And if that's damaged, you're going to have to replace that. But in order to replace that, you've got to take the whole water jacket off just to get that out. So if that's in good condition, I'd leave it alone. But come down here, and you see here's a new thermo here's a new kit from Sierra. And it comes with new gasket, new valve. I already assembled it, but thermostat, that bushing that's in, that's in there, and the back, the back backing plate for it. I don't know what this goes to. It must be on a different model. Here's a new spring, and here's how it goes together. Here's the old one I already took apart. There's the spring, the screw, the little plastic cup, and the diaphragm and it just goes together like that you'll see how it goes together but I put some red Loctite because there was already red Loctite on this one I figured might as well see might as well go ahead and do it to a new one too so I got red Loctite on it you can see it's on the threads not just on the head and yeah just put it I mean you put it back together in reverse order this goes in here goes in here and make sure you clean up all these gaskets get all the corrosion see I've already I need to tidy it up a little bit more but get all the corrosion out of here so you get a good seal and clean this up a little bit don't nick this or damage it but put this goes in here And then you get the spring. This is the old one, but it goes in here, compresses against that, and you gotta kind of fiddle with it. And it all sandwiches together, but it takes a little fiddling, I'm sure. But yeah. So then torque your bolts, torque your bolts down, and you're good. Do like a crisscross or whatever, but don't just wrench on them because they're gonna break. I almost forgot you gotta take don't for, don't forget to put your gasket on when you put this all back together here's a new gasket goes just like that and of course you got all this stuff to put back together so it's gonna be kind of it might take a couple tries but you'll get it where is it? put your new gasket on and bolts it up with everything in there so and yep, that's how you do it. Oh, by the way, you can test these thermostats by boiling and putting a cup of water or getting like a little bit of water in a pot or a pan and boiling it and just dropping them in. And you'll see on the top right here, it'll open up and that's how you can check to see if they work. I mean, this one works, but I just got new ones because I just got this motor and I don't know you know what's been done so i figure you might as well do it anyways so there you go guys